Hey Jonesy babes and welcome back to my channel. Nesto is mad creepy. He is a creepy old man. How many times you gonna tell this girl about how young she looked? Like what is going on? By the way, this video um was June 25th, 2023. Phone calls from prison just dropped it this afternoon. She shows him his nails, because that's the way he likes her nails. Nesto keeps saying she looks young as hell. They have uh, technical difficulties. What is what is with him in this age? This number 12. What is with Nesto in this number 12? He's telling her she looks 12. And her crazy self. She said, well, I'll be 12 today or something like that. Girl, that's not the right answer. Mm-mm. It, it just, well, I don't know. I, I don't want to seem like I'm overreacting, but it's just mad creepy, man. It is. He talks about her hair. He loves her nails. Um, She looks dark. You know, I guess it's summertime, so she caught a tan. Nesto hands are creepy to me. All right. He's creepy to me. And I laughed because, you know, when they had technical difficulties and she got up to go talk to somebody about it and he came back to the camera before she did. And then she came back and he said, somebody, I see how you ran around that corner. <laughs> you ran around that corner there. Oh my god, that was that was funny to me. <laughs> listen, when you listen to Nesto, I'm I'm telling you, something well, everything he says is kind of funny, but that right there, that part right there, mm hmm But anyway, she showed him her shoes and he said those came back in style. Listen, Nesto be eating her up. He be eating her up, and I'm here for it. <laughs> but you know what? I haven't seen those shoes in a hot minute. So, and they're white. I don't like white shoes. To be honest with you guys, I don't like white shoes. If they're not sneakers, I don't like white shoes. I don't like white shoes. I guess I don't like them because my mother used to buy me white shoes for Easter when I was a kid with the ruffle socks that you turned down and them, that big ruffle dress. I didn't, oh my God, honey. Oh, Lord. Yes, yeah, so I think that's why I don't like white shoes. But he said he came back in style. <laughs> Listen, today we were watching Nesto's peep show because that's how he was acting. He he was like, he was acting as if he was in a peep show. Like he paid a quarter, okay, and she appeared on the screen and he just can't believe how young she looked. Her hair was so nice. Her hands are dark. Yeah, I like those fingernails right there. Oh, you so you look really nice. Oh, Grady, go have a seat, please. But anyway, he asked her, "Does her feet sweat in those shoes?" What? And then they got on the subject about a Jewish store. You know, she asked him, did he know where any Jewish, did, did they have any Jewish stores there? Nesto been in for a minute. So if, even if there was one, he wouldn't know. So he was telling her, no, not really. Man, listen, if she came to Brooklyn, right there, <laughs> Kingston, Eastern Parkway, Williamsburg, Greenpoint, yeah, she'll find a lot of Jewish stores in Brooklyn. She was calling him Grady with the good hair. Now he said he's gonna blow, he's gonna have his hair blow out. He's gonna wear his hair blowed out. And I think Nesto is keeping that disguise. I could be wrong, but I think he's keeping that hair on his face and his hair kind of like that. I think he's just trying to hide him his true self or what he really looks like without all that stuff. I could be wrong, but it seems like he's so comfortable with it. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just something weird. It's, it's really weird. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. 
and he says he appreciates her. He loves her very, very much. And thank you for being on his, by his side. And I was like, oh, God, where's the violin? Like, I don't want to hear that. He asked her if she cut the side of her hair. <laughs> he asked her if she cut the side of her hair. And you know how she got her hair swooped down? She said that she cut her sideburns because it grows too long. So she cuts it down and then she slicks it down and put it behind her ear. That's what she said. This man is observing every part of her. Like he never saw a woman before. He's looking at her nose when she turns to the side, her eyelashes. He keeps talking about her hands. Her lips are pretty. And he's doing it as he's rocking back and forth in the chair. I'm like, oh God, I don't know how much of this I can stand. Like, I was so happy when this phone call was over. For real, for real. Um, and then she threw her little nasty stuff out there talking about she'd be happy um, so he could let that tongue loose. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Listen, just... Mm-mm-mm. Wow. Wow. You know what? I hope that lady that was sitting behind Sonya, I hope she's watching these videos. So <laughs> the next time she sees Sonya, she could have dressed her because it was no reason for Sonya to talk about them like that lady pants. That lady was over there visiting her loved one or whoever that person was. She was not thinking about Sonya. Sonya talking about that lady pants look um, flea market-ish and wearing stripes. She can wear what she want to wear. Is that the same white shirt that we always see you wearing, Sonya? Every time we turn around, you got that white muscle shirt on. All you're missing is a pack of cigarettes to fold over it. Okay? Stay gold, pony boy. Stay gold. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay. You know, nobody told you you look like a greaser with that shirt on. Or you look like you just came from over um, the women's correctional department. Don't get me started. I didn't like that at all. It was no reason for her to talk about that lady. That lady was not bothering her. Mm, mm, mm. Lord have mercy. Um, and then Nestle told her she still, she talks mad shit. <laughs> You know what? That's the be telling her though. She do talk mad shit. She talks shit all the time. And that she's still bouncing and pouncing. And I'm like, does he mean bouncing and prouncing? But he said bouncing and pouncing. So listen, Nesto has his own language. He has his own language arts book. And I have come to realize it is what it is. And I accepted it, okay? So, anyway, that's what happened on that call. Uh, I was glad that it was over because I couldn't take it no more. Every time he turned around, he's talking about her looks. Like, somebody need to tell him he sound mad creepy, okay? He sound like one of those guys that be in the um the white van, you know, and they drive up to you real slow and be like, Hello, little girl. You know, uh uh uh. He sound mad creepy. He need to stop all that. She knows she looks young. You told her a thousand times. You keep saying that she looks 12. Why is 12 the magic number for you? She doesn't look 12. But why is 12 the magic number for you? I don't know. Somebody let me know in the comment section. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Why is the number 12 the magic number for him? Anyway, I guess if he ever get out of jail, he going when they get to the hotel room, honey, he might spread some peanut butter over her. And, and never mind. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm done for the day. No, I'm not. Well, I'm done right now. But I I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Meet me down in the comment section.